morning, everyone. I uh, welcome to this session. I think we can just get started. I hope I am very clear. Good morning, Maureen. Can you please just get started? Okay, so we can begin. So this week we had two careers exercises. The one that you guys did, which was very intense, but you got the essence of it all about prioritization and time management. So this other exercise, it's quite different from what you guys had experienced. The other one, it's more simpler. It's more exciting. It's, it's interesting. So I'll just jump right into it. Starting time. So this career's exercise, we're talking about T-shaped profession. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of such heard of something such as this, but basically what uh, a T-shaped person is is typically used to describe someone who has both a breadth of knowledge and skills as well as someone who has deep expertise. If you guys have ever heard of something said uh, by the phrase jack of all trades and a master of none, so with T-shaped, it's quite different. It, uh, it means someone who has an experience, a vast experience in their probably in their career, and also they have a, a deeper um, or vast experience in, in something that is more wide, you know. For example, if someone is good in maths and someone is really good in maths and maybe they want to just um, go into maybe um what is more similar to mathematics let's say maybe being a data scientist or even a software programmer so someone can be very good in mathematics but you have basic skills in software engineering so that is what t-shaped is all about so um in the t-shape the horizontal line or the bar of the t represents the breadth of knowledge the basic skills that someone has and then the vertical line which in the in the t which goes downward downwards represent what is more depth and in the expertise of the career or whatever it is they're doing okay so also in for example in technical skills for instance in programming i think i've just talked about that um can just go on so there's um there's a reason why you guys are getting to understand what t-shape is and there are many advantages of being a person who is t-shaped i don't want to say all-rounded but let me just use the term t-shape because that's what we're talking about this time you become more open-minded because with t-shaped you're not only familiar with what you know your skills but you can be able to also uh, relate with what other people are doing for example in an instant of your workplace if you guys are a marketing firm maybe you are a salesperson but if you have knowledge of what marketing or advertising are doing you become a t-shaped person you know so it is very easy for you to understand what other people are doing or just collaborate with them. For example, if someone is not maybe present or such things happen while you're working. So you can be able to jump in right in for that person who's not there because you have a little bit of knowledge of what they are doing. You're also visionary because you're able to see into the future of a project and how everything can come together. And reason being basically is when you're a t-shaped person the fact that you have both 
um, basic knowledge and also you have an expert a depth expertise of your own skills gives you the gives you the advantage of being able to see what is coming in the future if you're doing a certain project yeah so this is what i mean by saying t-shaped it's actually letter t so this is this is it this the what is this the across or horizontal represents base knowledge skills of what you guys have okay and then we have the one that is going downwards that is the vertical that is it is what you have the skills that you have that you are more an an expert in so um it's very simple this this exercise is very simple of if you guys have an idea of what you what you want to be in the future be it be ml engineering or web3 or even data so with this you can clear out you can clear you can clear clear the map and you can be able to just know what you can what you are good at what you're not good at and what you want to be good at in so with that you can be able to draw out a t-shaped for example this is a t-shape of a marketing and sales manager so as you can see the horizontal line in the t-shape represents the broad skills the breadth of skills and knowledge that this person has which is lead generation input marketing project management so these are basics of what the marketing and sales manager has but the this other line which is going downwards which is the vertical um line that represents the t-shape represents what this person has more deeper knowledge and skills the expertise in you know so if this person for example is required to not only do what they have deeper skills of but maybe they can deal with a client who wants more knowledge on lead generation or even how to manage a project or recruiting sales so this gives the person an advantage of being of just being able to do other things that are required in their career or even if they want to drift and go into project management it will be easy for them because they understand they have basic knowledge of what project management is okay so we also um this is an example of what we would want you to do it is part of the task so i, I just decided to do um an example so that you guys can have a clear map of what is expected of you and i'll just jump right in into the exercise guide so as you can see it's not as hard it's very simple so with this exercise you're required to start with an analysis of five core skills this could be either ml engineering data or web3 um of course with the current career choice that you want so um the five core skills could be on the vertical that is downwards you can put them here those five score skills can put them here and then on this breadth of experience knowledge and skills that is across the t-shirt you can put three other skills you can come up with three other skills that you can put across and you draw out your t-shirt so that is the first thing you're supposed to do the second thing is 
we know the T-shaped, we are supposed to now, um, you can decide, you can, you can decide um, which skills are you good in, okay? So the, the skills that you're good in, you can highlight them with the green color, you can color code them. So this is what I was talking about. So um, the good skills that you already have and understand, you can highlight them with the green color. Then the skills that you are partially ready with, you know a bit about them, but you're still working on them. You can highlight them with yellow. And also the skills that, of course, you, you don't have them, but you would want to have them you you want to maybe in the future um, get to understand what it is all about you want to maybe go to back to school or maybe advance your career and just have an idea of what they are so this is what i was talking about so you can map out your own t-shape with the skills that you really have you don't have and the ones that you are not so conversant with, but you can, you're working on them. So this is an example of what task two is about. Also, you're required to just reflect three to five paragraphs. Um, you identify three key areas in your T-shape that you want to build on, okay? So you, it can be on the skills that, of course, you don't have highlighted with red, and you explain why you chose those areas and why they are important to you, okay? So maybe you want to advance into a career that has those skills. So that can be one of the reasons why you want to, you chose that area, okay? Uh, the second thing in task three is to develop a fast approach plan for how you will build your skills in those areas. So um, if you want to gain a certain skill, so what do you do? What is your plan? You, it, can, it could be you want to go back to school, you want to get into, uh, into a job that does that kind of thing that you do, and maybe you want to go into that, okay? So you just develop a plan, it could be anything. Yourself, you know what you want to do in your life, with your career. And also you will be required to provide all this, of course, in a two-page document and submit it on Google Classroom. So it, it is very easy. <laughs> and so far you guys have been doing a good job. So this is more, it's something that, that you can do within 30 minutes because already you guys know the kind of skills that you have at hand, the ones that you're working on, you want to, you want to get, or um, also the ones that you are not sure of, but you're working on it. So it's very easy. So you can, you can actually do it after this. Uh -huh. And I think I'm done with explaining what exactly all this is. If any of you has a question or Sadiq, if you want to add on to anything, then go ahead. Okay, so I see that, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll um, provide the slides. I'm Tina, you have a question, you can go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, I have a question. Um, so when doing uh, this exercise, but also like uh, when thinking about this uh, for our futures, basically, 
um sorry how yes i, I want to ask how to, how do we be how do we choose the the skills that are related to the field the ones that are in the horizontal bar that are useful should be useful to our field because it, i think it's not easy to determine which um which skills are going to be like they are not completely uh, like i mean they're not important for our deep uh, uh specific uh, uh expertise but it's uh, they are related it's not i don't think it's easy to determine that but can you tell me how can we decide um which skills that we should acquire to broaden our our horizons basically yeah you okay so i had okay so i had i had mentioned that you can focus on your current career choice whatever you want to venture into right now whatever you're focusing on but it it also has to be related with either machine learning engineering web3 engineering and also data engineering so whatever skills that you have i know for a fact at the moment that you guys are not fully baked you don't have all the skills in in those um terms that i've just stated out so that's why we have three categories the skills that you already have that you're really good at and you're sure so i'm sure you guys have two or three then there's uh, two or three others that you are partially um good with that could be either in web3 or you can just focus on one machine learning or whatever it is so you can choose that one that you're not fully you're not there yet but you have an idea you have a concept also you can um, put down a skill that you don't you don't have you don't have you have not yet accomplished it but you want to accomplish it in the future yeah so and that is the whole point that is how you should be able to map out your t-shape okay i don't know if i've able i've been able to answer your question mt um yeah i don't think um maybe i was not uh, super like my question itself is not very well defined let's say i'm asking mm -hmm. about in particular about the horizontal side the horizontal um, line the one that is not related to the in-depth knowledge about a particular uh, specific uh, discipline here would be like that engineering or whatever it is but the horizontal line with how do we decide which skills maybe we don't have them because i mean i know the skills that i have and the skills that i'm learning but there are skills that i don't know that i should acquire maybe um okay uh, and they so, are not maybe related to the specific expertise that i am I'm, I'm aiming for but they are they would be beneficial how yes how we define how we find these skills how we how we know which skills we should learn okay i think you've already answered your own question so <laughs> with the breath uh, with the horizontal basically it's something that is you just have a base knowledge of what it is it doesn't have to be related with exactly um the depth or vertical skills are but you have an idea you know you have an idea of what those skills are basic knowledge you can if for example um if you're if you're working on a project that requires you to have knowledge of how to operate the google workspace you guys know how the google workspace is it means that you can go ahead even on you can just do a little research on um on the internet on youtube it it shouldn't be hard for you it should it shouldn't be something that is um very deep if if you get what i'm trying to so with the with the horizontal line 
it can be as wide as much, but also it has, you can be able to maneuver around those kind of skills. Are we together, MT9? Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, well, it does make sense, yes. I think, uh, yeah, uh, it's making more sense to me now. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, Josias, do you now understand what we are talking about? And also Mohammed, because I I see that you guys are the ones who are asking me to. Do you guys understand the concept of what a T-shaped is? Uh, it seems uh, uh, we are we are not getting a few questions. Maybe I will just uh, will just pose the questions on them to ensure that uh, it's all understood. Maybe, uh, let me see. Maybe Emmanuel, can you just speak and tell us uh, how far you understand the whole concept? Hello, are you there? Okay, okay, so um, Nahum, I'll see if I can do just one last trick up. Okay, no problem. Uh, Morgan, you can just you can just give them a, a, a quick overview of all of what the whole exercise is all about and how it uh, relates to their to their job search phase. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to uh, go through what what you are required to do in the exercise. So we've gone through what a T-shape is. We know what the across line or bar represents, which is best knowledge or skills. It could be varied skills or knowledge that you have in your current career, or it can even be vast. Your skills can be vast. Um, so we also have the line that is going downwards in the t-shape that represents the depth of skills so that that is the expertise that you have in a certain field or even in your career it's vertical it's going downwards so what you're required to do is you map out your own t-shapes you can you're supposed to include five score skills that should be vertical that is going downwards that is the deep um skills the ex the expertise skills that you have and also you're supposed to come up with three extra skills to add on the breadth of knowledge that is the horizontal line on the t-shirt as well as um, include skills that you already have an idea of. So you can highlight it with green, skills that you partially have knowledge about. You can highlight them with yellow and a skill that you, you're yet to accomplish, but you're looking forward to for reasons known to yourself. And that brings me to the third task in which you're supposed to write three or five paragraphs identifying the key areas in your T-shape, which is actually this is more explainable. It's self-explainable. You explain why you chose those areas as well as developing a fast approach plan on how you will build your skills in those areas. So this could be um, you, you want to go back to school, read about the skills that you want to develop, or you venture into a career that deals with that. You, 
you can do that as well. So you just map out your own plan on how you will be able to gain those skills that you have not yet accomplished. And this is actually how it's supposed to look like. This is just an example, red, green. So we have the, the vertical and we also have the horizontal line in the tissue. This is just my doing. I'm sure you guys can come up with other ways of mapping out your own t-shirt and making it look more appealing. Yes. So this is an example of a marketing and sales manager t-shirt model. So as you can see, the horizontal line has broad skills and it could be just base skills. You, you don't have to be so much in depth with those skills, but you have an idea when you're called upon to do something probably in lead generation or client consulting. I'm just using this example, but with you guys, with the task you'll be required to do, it should be in line with either your current career choice, which, uh, um, and it also you should focus on machine learning, because that is what you guys are doing right now, right? Data engineering or web engineering. So I don't, I don't want to confuse you, but I also, if I decided to to draw out um, an, a T-shaped career model using this ML data and whatever, you guys will not have had the chance to just think and visualize your own. Most probably people have just copied. <laughs> But I just want to give you an idea so that you can come up with your own because I know you guys are very creative. And basically, this is what a T shape is all about. This is just a map of how it is. So it's the letter T. But with what we are doing, it represents different things. So the horizontal line is the basic knowledge and skills and the line that is going vertical or downwards represents the depth of high level expertise in one discipline. So um, the T-shaped, if you guys, like, uh, like I mentioned, if you guys have ever heard of Jack of all trades and a master of none. So T-shaped is Jack of all trades and a master of one or two. So you have basic knowledge of a lot of things or more, but you are an expert in a certain discipline or field or the career of your choice. And this is when, you be, when you're a T-shirt person, there are very many advantages when you are when you become uh, an employee because now that you have not only having knowledge of your expertise or field, you're able to understand what other people's what other people are doing because you have basic knowledge of what other things are going on. For example, if you are an expert in engineering, you have basic um, idea of what that engineering is, you're able to work together in a company that features all this. Yeah. So basically this is what a T-shaped person is. So even with the, what I've just mentioned here, also in technical skills, for instance, a T-shaped person who also possesses Cognitive skills like emotional intelligence and creativity have the ability to form lasting relationships and connections that contribute and solve problems. So we'll also share the slides at the end of the session in your folder, those in the Slack channel. This is a pretty simple exercise. And I hope you guys have a good time. Well,
just doing the exercise because it's interesting. It's good to map out your own um, skills and just understand where you're heading at, you know. It would make it easier for you, especially when you, when you complete your, your training. In fact, you can go back and just tick. After you've mapped out this T-shape, when you complete your training, you can just go back to the T-shape and just tick. Um, if, you, if you had marked that you're here to complete something or you are partially good at, you'll actually realize you have become even better at what you had decided to, to go into. So, so there's more um, guidelines in the exercise, in the Word document that we had previously, previously shared in, the, in your folder. But it's it's very easy. <laughs> um, what do you guys think? Sadiq, if you have anything to add on. Okay, so anyone has a question to ask before we jump into another session and where we'll be randomly just asking questions about this anyone who has anything to say or ask Hey guys, are you here with me? You can just drop in the chat if you understand what you are required to do. I think we're we, we all done with uh, the exercise. So if you have any further questions, you can just chip in. Or if you think that there's, there's an aspect of what she's said so far that is more clear, you can just, but from the chat, I can see Josias and Sinan, Adija and a few others understood. Maybe I would just like to hear from, uh, let me hear from, let me hear from Gideon. Gideon, I just say, I... no, 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 you, no, you. Gideon, okay. are you there? Can you just speak to us, Gideon? Good morning, I just say. Good morning. Uh, yeah. I've understood the, the the tutorial. Thank you. Okay, you understood? No yes. Okay, I just as uh, you'll be shared with this with the slide as soon as possible. And maybe Margaret, can I hear from you? Uh, Margaret, are you there? Can you can I just hear from you on I know your understanding of the oral topic? Okay. Why well, Margaret? With us in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, she's she's probably not on seat. Why Margaret is able to speak? Maybe I will just hear from. Okay. Wang Wangui, I can see you just joined. Can you just speak to us this morning? Did you miss anything? Uh, I had been in the call. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, did you get the whole concept? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it seems it's well, well understood. Uh, but still, we still have... Okay. okay. Uh, Maureen, you can just do a, a bit recap, maybe just one more time. Uh, just, <laughs> no problem. No problem. Okay. I know. I know a few of them just joined. Uh, however, I have been going through your time management submission, and uh, I you all did great. To be honest, uh, 
considering the time management, uh, it shows a lot. A lot of you can actually uh, work under maybe an hour, and you'll be able to deliver excellent results. So it's very important that having a, a, a great management time management skills and you are able to identify your skills in a, in a T-shaped manner, that will, that will shape your career trajectory. But so Maureen, you can just give them a brief recap. But in the meantime, can I just hear from, I just like to hear from a few people because we have like 29 of them on calls, like a few of them are absent. Nabil, Arega, are you there? I, we actually had um, questions that, just one or two questions we wanted to ask randomly. Okay. So, I will just ask the question and just call out the name. And that's, actually, that's the questions fine. are just on the slide. Let me just go to that slide. It's very simple. Um, so the first question, what does the vertical piece of the T in a T-shaped worker represent? You can just raise your hand. Do we have, do we have anyone? Okay, okay I'll, be, uh, uh, I'll be doing it like this. Maybe we can just, uh, this particular question, uh, if you could get it, that 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 would be like uh, maybe the first ten people to respond. That can be like a plus five to your assessment. Is that okay? What does the T shape? What what are the T shape? Why are the T shaped workers good collaborators? Anyone? You have a five mark up for your assessment. If you want, if, okay, just, if you want to speak, just unmute yourself and speak. Okay, let me start from uh, Ashefa, I'm, I'm work. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrongly. Okay. Um, how are you guys? Oh, we're doing great. Sir. Okay, um, for the first question, what does the vertical piece of the tea in the t-shirt worker should we present yeah we have seen i think earlier it's the specific area that we are professional with the particular we are specialized in i think it's not more general but the more we know, the more we can do. That the, the vertical T-shaped shows. Do I am answer? <laughs> yes, Asefa, you're very right. Actually, you guys are all right. Okay. Okay, so we also have your hands, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Should I go on for the second question or the fourth question? Sorry? Should I go in for the second question or to ask them? So you can hear you. Okay, not done now. Are you okay in there? Um, you're not so clear at the moment. I will uh, hang on just and I'll come back. Okay, um, so we can have Jen Ross. You can go ahead. Uh, good afternoon. 
um, I think the vertical piece represents the skills that a person has mastery of, like if they are an expert in it and they consider it one of their strongest points. And why uh, such workers are important is because uh, in this day and age we work in teams with people from different, um, I think, backgrounds or something like that. And that's why it's good to have this wide set of skills so that you can interact with a variety of people. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Jen Ruth. You can, and then you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay, uh, the, the, what does the vertical piece of the tier uh, in a T shaped work represent? For this question, uh, uh, as we uh, have seen from the presentation, like the, the T, uh, people with a, a T shaped uh, I mean, workers with a T-shaped uh, uh, quality ha are well-rounded, so uh, they can uh, adapt to a very uh, different uh, work environment. So it's it is uh, a very good quality to have. So the they have the depth and the breadth of uh, uh, different uh, domain knowledge. So it will help them to uh, want to collaborate. The, the fact that they have a breadth of knowledge would help us uh, help them to uh, collaborate across the entire team. Even though like, uh, for example, if we're, uh, let's, if we take a web developer as an example, if a web developer is uh, a T-shaped uh, developer, he would uh, sim easily can collaborate with the backend engineer, with the DevOps, uh, with the testers and all, all uh, other, uh, even with the managers, they can uh, uh, they can be a good collaborators. So uh, having the T-shaped uh, quality is very crucial to fit into any work environment. And it's a very good thing to have, uh, and that's it. Yes, you're right, uh, Michael. You, I see in the chat. You also write that, that Niall, Gannett, and Tinan, Josias. You guys are all right. I see that you grasp the concept and the essence of it all. Um, so the reason why they a good collaborators basically they possess the various skills that help them incorporate with other characteristics such as being empathetic, collaborative, enthusiastic, open-minded, and visionary. What we just mentioned, but you guys are all right. You have grasped the concept, mm -hmm. and I feel that you guys are good to go. So, to Michael, you had earlier asked for me to do a recap. But I see you've answered a question. Um, you can just go ahead and unmute yourself and speak and just ask a question what you're not clear about. And yeah, if you're here with us. Hello. Hello. Hey Michael, uh, you're not so clear, I can't hear you. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you can just maybe speak up and be loud. I think I have a problem with my mic, but I have joined from the point on you have started from the teach shape. That's why I answered and I just need a little recap of what the contents before the T-shaped uh, worker representations. Sorry, come again. Okay, let me write it on the chat. My mic is not good, I think. Okay. 
Okay, so anyone who'd like to who would like to do a recap for Michael? Who would like to volunteer? No one who actually wants to just a small recap because <laughs> it's very it's a very easy task. Man, you can just you can just do the recap one more time. Then we we, we call it a day and we look forward to their submission. Let's give them a recap of what the exercise entails. Okay, and in it, we have drawn the the T-shirt. Yeah. Just uh, to recap the concept of what uh, uh, T-shaped uh, mean. So let me just uh, give in the meaning and uh, 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 T-shaped. Uh, so the letter T uh, uh, has two components in it, right? Uh, the horizontal and the vertical. So the horizontal rep uh, represent um, the breadth of knowledge or the breadth of skill we possess and the uh, vertical represent the depth of skills or knowledge we possess. So uh, basically the T or the horizontal help us to uh, collaborate with uh, all sorts of uh, parties in our work environment, or it will help us to collaborate with different departments in our company. For example, uh, we can collaborate with managers, with uh, technical and technical people. So, uh, because since we have a breadth of knowledge in, uh, uh, even uh, in a, even it's very important if we take it to our context in uh, data science. Uh, mo most of the time, we work. We will work uh, in uh, different uh, types of uh, uh, problems. So, those different problems require us to have some kind of uh, knowledge about the domain knowledge about the business knowledge about uh, the problem that we're tackling to solve. So, uh, having that uh, breadth, uh, I mean, width of uh, breadth of uh, knowledge and skills will help us to uh, mitigate um, uh, between like the, the gaps between the non-technical people and the uh, more technical people. So uh, that's one thing The T or the vertical uh, one will help uh, us to hone into one specific uh, uh, expertise. So like uh, we could, we can, we, if we have a, a depth of knowledge on a particular thing, uh, we would we're gonna give uh, a lot to like uh, in that particular uh, thing. So it's very good thing to have because uh, being experienced in one thing is very important because we we can't be uh, like experienced in everything. We're we're human, so like having that one basic uh, depth of knowledge or. Uh, it could also be like some, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a single thing that we're very good at or expert at, but like we could uh, be one, it could be one or two, but it won't be like uh, uh, a lot. So it's it's very uh, thing to have. So uh, the advantage of being a T-shaped, so, uh, T-shaped individuals are open-minded, enthusiastic, visionary, and empathetic. So uh, uh, this open-mindedness uh, uh, will help them to like learn from other their relatives. So being enthusiastic also help the, uh, help us to be like very uh, positive and uh, uh, keen to others. So visionaries, uh, these are all the qualities uh, T-shaped individuals has and that's uh, I say okay I think I've covered on that right yeah um, yeah 
Yeah, this is uh, just an example uh, of a T-shaped skills in uh, developing a career. So uh, this this is just for this uh, marketing and sales manager. So uh, broad skills of a sales marketing and sales manager could be like lead generation in board uh, in board marketing, client consulting. Uh, project management, sales recruiting, these are all the broad skills uh, one uh, sales manager uh, uh, could, I mean, be better if he could, could uh, if he or she uh, possess, but like, but the deeper skills or the main skills, the important skills uh, he or she ha has to have is like business development, quality uh, qualification, solution, solution selling, negotiation, uh, executive selling, channel management, and pipeline management. This is uh, the actual uh, job description of a uh, marketing sales manager. So, uh, so basically, the T or the vertical, the deep skills are what you're going to be uh, hired. Okay, that's le 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 we can consider it as your job description in general. So that's what you're experienced in. At least that's what your hiring manager like expects you to have. Uh, and the broad, the broad skills is what probably what is going to uh, uh, get you, what's going to get you a promotion or like be even being likable in work environment. Yeah. All right. Um, so I myself cannot follow up with that kind of presentation. So and then you've, get, you've done a good job. I think we all have a clear picture of what we are expected to do. So with this other um, image, it's just basically to guide you on what you're expected to do on this task which is the second task, which I've only I've even written in brackets, refer to slide six, to just guide you on what you're supposed to do. And it's basic. So you are just uh, supposed to highlight the skills that with colors of code, of course you color code with the skills that you already have, you have deep knowledge of, Yellow, of course, with, with the one that you're 50-50, you're, you're working on it, you have um, a bit knowledge of it. And of course, red, something that you're yet to accomplish, but you're looking forward to it. So this is just a, a guidance so that you may not get stuck. Yeah. And the third task is just to reflect on three to five paragraphs on why you decide to choose the areas that are important to you, the skills that are important to you. You identify them first, then you explain why you chose those areas. And section B in the task is to develop a first approach plan on how you will build your skills in those three areas. So I just give an example of probably you are looking into going back to school or just doing an online course or probably getting a job that ha um, does that kind of, requires you to have the certain skills so that you can do the job. So you can maybe get into a career for that, then you grow your way into that probably department so this is my example. I'm sure you guys have your own plans, of course. I'm sure you guys have. So it's a very easy task to do. You can even start right away if you have time. It will just take you probably an hour or less, uh, depending on your research or knowledge, but it's pretty easy. Um, you guys have done a good job. My um, Andena, thank you so much. And I feel like we should have more interactive sessions such as this, because, yeah, you guys are able to just understand. And as we mentioned before, 
we'll be having starting next week i believe we'll having we'll be having a session on mock interviews so i mentioned this on slack and we would want volunteers two guys and two ladies i already have a few so just just to give you a heads up we'll give you more information on that and that is what i have for today i hope you guys you guys are good anyway thank you for showing up thank you for coming and showing up of course you can call it a session all right okay bye